Hi. Welcome back. In this video, we walk through the procedure of a trading algorithm using moving average. A moving average is a mathematical concept that helps us understand the average value of something over a specific period of time. Let's imagine that we want to know the average temperature in our city over the past week. We could take the temperature reading every day and calculate the average temperature by adding up all the readings and dividing by the number of days. But what if we want to see the average temperature over a longer period, like a month? It would be challenging to calculate the average manually every day. This is where a moving average comes in handy. Instead of manually calculating the average each day, we can use a moving average to give us a smoother picture of the average temperature over time. Here's how it works. We start with a certain number of temperature readings, let's say the past seven days. We add up these seven readings and divide by seven to find the average temperature for that week. As each new day passes, we remove the oldest reading and add the newest reading. Then, we recalculate the average temperature based on this updated set of readings. By doing this, we create a moving average that moves or changes with time. It provides a more stable and less noisy representation of the average temperature over a specific period. This can help us identify trends and patterns in the data without being overwhelmed by daily fluctuations. Moving averages are commonly used in various fields, including finance and stock market analysis. They help smooth out the ups and downs of stock prices over time, making it easier to identify long-term trends. In simple terms, a moving average provides us with a clearer understanding of the average value of something over a specific period, helping us make informed decisions and identify patterns. This code helps us create a strategy for buying and selling stocks using something called moving averages. It's like having a plan that tells us when it might be a good time to buy or sell stocks. First, we import two special packages called pandas and matplotlib.pyplot. These packages have tools and functions that will help us work with data and create graphs. Next, we have a function called moving underscore average underscore strategy that takes a special table called a data frame as input. This table has information about the stock prices over time. Inside the function, we calculate two moving averages. It's like finding the average price of the stock over a certain number of days. One moving average is for the short term, and the other is for the long term. Then, we create two new columns in the table. One column called buy underscore signal tells us if it might be a good time to buy the stock. If the short term moving average is higher than the long term moving average, it says true. Otherwise, it says false. The other column called sell underscore signal tells us if it might be a good time to sell the stock. If the short-term moving average is lower than the long-term moving average, it says true. Otherwise, it says false. After that, we start plotting the graph. We create a special graph called a line plot that shows the stock's closing price over time. We also plot the short-term and long-term moving averages as dashed lines. We use different colors for each line to make it easier to see. Additionally, we put markers on the graph to show where we might want to buy or sell the stock. If the buy underscore signal is true, we put a green triangle marker above the closing price. If the sell underscore signal is true, we put a red triangle marker below the closing price. We give the graph a title, label the horizontal axis as date, and label the vertical axis as price. We also add a legend to explain what each line and marker mean. Lastly, we add grid lines to make it easier to read the graph. Finally, when we are done, we show the graph. It's like displaying the graph on the screen for us to see and understand the moving average strategy. So, this code helps us create a graph that shows when it might be a good time to buy or sell stocks based on moving averages. It helps us make decisions about trading stocks using visual cues. A sample output can be seen here. The graph plots time series data for the company Google. There are two moving averages plotted here. There is a short-term moving average using 10 periods. There is a long-term moving average using 200 periods. 
A trading algorithm can be produced by checking whether the short-term moving average crosses over the long-term moving average. Buy or sell signals are drawn on the chart using green and red triangles, respectively.